Hello everyone, this is Reverend Ashley here at First Presbyterian Church of Stockton. And I am here with our Tuesday Lent Reflection Time. And like I mentioned last week, these are just short, five minute is what I'm aiming for, <laughs> reflections. Um, and on Tuesdays, we will be looking at Psalms. Um, these ancient poems of faith that have um, expressed the experience of trusting in God and living in our world, um, you know, trying to be faithful as God's people, they have guided and expressed the deep thoughts and, and feelings um, of, of people for just thousands and thousands of years. And um, so we are going to read a psalm and um, I'll just have a couple of reflections on that. And then we'll end with a breath prayer based on that psalm so we can end out our time. And it's my hope that these uh, times, especially in Lent, as we are really uh, thinking about our need for God, um, digging into some of the harder things, the, the um, push and pull of our trust and our hope, along with our lament and our deep um, sadness at um, the things we encounter in the world, sometimes the things we encounter in ourselves or in other people, and how we live life in that tension uh, as we think about Jesus uh, going to the cross um, for us, for, for the whole world. So we are going to read Psalm 4 today. Feel free to stop the video and go get your Bible if you want to follow along, but it's not necessary. Um, you can also just sit and listen and let it wash over you. So as we prepare to hear, just take a breath. And let's listen to Psalm 4 together. To the leader with stringed instruments, a Psalm of David. Answer me when I call, O God of my right. You gave me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. How long, you people, shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? Selah. But know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord hears when I call him. When you are disturbed, do not sin. Ponder it on your beds and be silent. Selah. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, Oh, that we might see some good. Let the light of your face shine on us, O oh Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their grain and wine abound. I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. One of the things I love about the Psalms is this push and pull that often you feel even within one Psalm that there is, because uh, these are, are poems that, when uh, and songs, we saw the stringed instruments mentioned. Um, these are pieces of, of art, really, of poetry, of music that would help the people to express their faith together. And faith feels like that sometimes. It feels like trusting in God, remembering God's faithfulness, while also saying, oh, that we might see some good. God, I need to see some good. It has been so, so hard. Um, and it seems like lies are winning. But you have this... Um, assurance, this, this invitation to be silent, to wait on God, to lie down and sleep in peace because of the trust that we have in God. Uh, this final um, verse that says, for you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. That word safety uh, is related to um, actually the idea of trust. It certainly refers to safety and calmness and confidence even in, in somebody's ability just to be carefree or, or not worried. Um, but it's related, the root is related actually to the word for trust in 
uh, verse 5 when it says to put your trust in the Lord. So you can think about it almost as a feeling of trust, right? Almost like a little baby being able to trust that they are safe in the arms of the one who is caring for them. So I'll repeat that last verse. I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. Let us finish our consideration of the psalm with a breath prayer that just as we breathe in, why don't you say, for you alone, O Lord, and exhale, make me lie down in safety. For you alone, O Lord, exhale, make me lie down in safety. I'll do a couple more times and leave you to go ahead on your own for as long as you feel led to do so. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety.